Hello, everybody, and welcome back to EdTech in the Classroom. My name is Jeff Bradbury from the TeacherCast Educational Network, and today we're going to be showing you how to create a series of Microsoft Teams environments built off of Microsoft Outlook groups. Now, in our first video, we walked you through the steps to create those Microsoft Outlook groups, and we shared with you the reasons why you would want to create an Outlook group or a distribution list first before diving into Microsoft Teams. You're going to see here we are in Microsoft Outlook where we have our group here called My Awesome Demo School Building. We have everything that we need all set up. If I click here onto our settings, we've got our notebooks, our planners, our sites, and we're going to be deep diving into each of these aspects in future videos. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment below with any questions. We are here to help you out. But today, it's all about Microsoft Teams. Let's jump into Teams and learn how to get started to create a Microsoft Teams environment for your building, your school district, and your organization. So here we are in Microsoft Teams. You can see on the left side, we have our apps for activity, chat, Teams, calendar, calls, files, and I've added a couple customizable ones here. We've got bookings, OneNote, tasks, and our helper. We're going to deep dive into each of these applications in future videos, so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. What I want to do is I want to create a team from our Outlook group. In order to do that, I'm going to come over here to Create Team, and I'm going to click on the Create Team button. Here we have our create a team menu. You can see that we've got a few different options. We can create a team from scratch. We can create a team from a group or another team, or we can select one of the pre-made templates. I'm gonna click up on the top right from a group or a team. It says create a new team from something you already own. I'm gonna create it from a Microsoft 365 group. Now it says, which Microsoft 365 group do I want to use? And I'm gonna click on My Awesome Demo School Building. And I'm gonna hit Create. Now here we are in Microsoft Teams. We have a nice new team up here. The team is called My Awesome Demo School Building. You'll notice that if I click on the three dot menu, I've got a bunch of settings here that we can go over. If I click on Manage Team, this brings up our team management area where you can see we have our one owner. We have any requests. This is a section where people who want to be in our team or in our building uh, can request access. We have access to all of our channels. We'll get started on that in a minute. And then we have our settings. We can change our team picture, our member permissions, guest permissions, at mentions, create a team code, have some stuff for fun, and our tags. Let's deep dive into all of these. In our team picture section, we can add a team picture by clicking the drop down and then adding a picture. I recommend creating a square picture. Here we've got a nice looking picture. I'm gonna hit save. You'll notice up on the top, our picture is now associated with our team. Back in settings, let's click on member permissions. You'll notice that Microsoft Teams gives us a lot of different permission options for the people who are in our team. First of all, we can allow members to create or update channels, allow members to create private channels, allow members to delete and restore channels, allow members to add or remove apps, allow members to upload custom apps, allow members to create, update, and remove tabs, allow members to create, update, and remove connectors, owners can delete all messages, give members the option to delete their messages, and finally, give members the options to edit their messages. Personally, for me as a building owner or as an organization owner, I'm gonna check off most of these things because I wanna make sure that we're using it in a specific way. And so for me, most of these options I'm gonna have unchecked. 
Do I want owners to delete messages? Yes. Do I want to have members the option to delete their messages? Yes. And do I want to have members the options to edit their message? Yes. So for me, I'm going to disallow all of these except for the last ones. Guest permissions I have turned off, and that is an admin setting that you're going to want to talk to your, your Microsoft Teams admin all about. The next section is our at mentions. Do we want to allow people in our team to be able to at each other to cause attention and to bring up notifications? I'm going to make sure that these two boxes are checked off. Now, the next one is our team code. I can generate a team code if I'm doing this for a professional development session, if I'm adding students, or if I want to quickly be able to have multiple people be added to this team on their own without me needing to do that. I'm going to pass on this right now, but if I wanted to, I can click on generate. The next thing is the fun stuff category. Do I want to allow emojis, stickers, custom memes? And then finally, tags. Who can manage tags? I have it right now team owners, but I can certainly add team owners and members to manage tags. In our analytics section, we have an opportunity to see not only how Microsoft Teams is being used, but what is the engagement. You can see right now there's no data because we just created this team, but in a few hours, this is going to be populated with all of the information about how our members are using Microsoft Teams. In our next tab, we have all of our Microsoft Teams associated apps. You can see we've got Forms, Lists, OneNote, Power BI, Praise, SharePoint, SharePoint Pages, and Tasks. Now, we're going to be deep diving into all of these in future videos, so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to be notified of future topics on Microsoft Teams. And finally, in our last tab, we have Microsoft Teams tabs. Now, this is an amazing feature that we will definitely be deep diving in future videos. So again, hit that like and subscribe button. So now that we have our Microsoft team all set up, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to create channels. Now, I want us to think about Microsoft Teams as two different things all at the same time. Number one, it's going to be a communications platform, meaning we're going to be setting up our channels by topic so that way we can talk and communicate on specific topics. The second thing is we want to be thinking about Microsoft Teams as a hard drive. Each of these channels as a folder in our hard drive. So not only are we thinking about channels as a way to communicate and different topics we're going to use, but we're also thinking about it as folders inside of one large group hard drive. And we want to think, where do these files want to go? And with that said, when we're creating Microsoft Teams for ex so with that being said, when we're creating Microsoft Teams for our school buildings, we might think about channels as grade levels first grade channel, second grade channel. That way we can put first grade and second grade folders and files all in their same channel. And we can think about first grade teachers talking in their channels and second grade teachers talking in their channels. If we're still talking about using Microsoft Teams as a vehicle for our school building, you might also use channels for different activities, a music channel, a bake sale channel, a parent teacher association channel. All of these are fair game to be thinking about ways to use communication and files with Microsoft Teams. But be warned, you only have 200 channels, so use them wisely. Let's create our first channel. I'm going to click on Add Channel. And over here, I'm going to add a channel name. And I'm just going to add a main office channel. This might be a channel where not only are we communicating with our main office staff, but also in the future might be putting in our important main office documents such as forms, folders, PDFs, permission slips, you name it. Anything that you would do with your main office. I'm going to add a description. And under privacy, we've got two options. Standard is everybody can see it, and private is specific people can do it. Because this is the main office and everybody visits the main office, we're going to want to make this a standard team. And I'm going to say automatically show up in our channel list. I'm going to click Add. You can see up on the top, we have our general channel and our main office channel. I'm going to go ahead and populate two or three more of these channels so you can get the idea for how to start using Microsoft Teams in your school buildings and organizations. 
So here we have four channels made general main office music department and principal office you'll notice that we added principal office as a private channel because in this channel we only want to give access to our administrators our principals and our assistant principals and anybody else that the principal might want to have in there sharing information so we kept that as a private channel so that way nobody else has access to our principals folders now you might ask why do we not make a team for the principal and the reason is we want to have everything all under one building, one organizational folder, and one communication channel just in case someday down the road the principal decides to be replaced and you want to add a new principal. Everything is all under one folder in one big, huge building team. You'll also notice over here that we created a channel for our music department, and this is going to be a public channel. That way our music teachers can communicate with each other and our teachers can communicate with our music teachers. So as you can see, it's very easy to create and navigate your way through Microsoft Teams. Now in future videos, we're gonna be deep diving into other topics such as our posts, our channels, our wikis, our notebooks, and we're gonna be building an entire SharePoint intranet using these Microsoft Teams. Our focus this year is gonna be helping you create an amazing Microsoft Teams environment for your school, your building, or your community. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below and always hit that like and subscribe button so we can make sure that you guys are aware of each and every video that we create here on the TeacherCast Educational Network. So that wraps up this episode of how to use Microsoft Teams in your classroom. My name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you guys to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.